Okay, uh, if you're having hard starts or rough idles after filling up with gas, or if you're having the P1450 or P14C uh, error codes on your EcoBoost Mustang, it most likely is the EVAP purge valve. So just a quick vi uh, video on how to replace it out. Stay tuned. All right, so here are the tools and components that are gonna be required to replace out the EVAP purge valve or purge solenoid. Um, you're gonna need a eight millimeter deep socket, 10 millimeter deep socket. Gosh, I've had this since the 90s, it's been good to me. Uh, six inch extension and a quarter inch ratchet. And most importantly, you're gonna need this part right here. It's the valve itself. Uh, the current part as of August 2019 is FR3Z9G. 297H. Uh, looks like there's been a number of revisions in the past, but you know, this is the current one. Uh, so it looks like this one's packaged uh, just in June. Okay, let's get going. Okay, first thing we have to do is remove two 8 millimeter bolts and two 10 millimeter nuts. And that'll allow us to remove the engine cover. Okay, this is the EVAP purge valve. Uh, um, you got two for the vapors and then one connector for the electronics. To remove this vapor hose or the connector, what you do is you spread these two red tabs and push it away. Uh, there's a button right here. You depress the button You can pull out the valve or the connector. Uh, you have electro uh, the electronics connector right here. Just push down on the back tab. And the connector comes off. And finally, you have this green connector. Push these two tabs forward towards the cab and away. And then you could feel the tab come out the back end. Let me check it out real quick. There. And then now let's remove this 10 millimeter bolt. And then we could now remove the old purge valve. Okay, and the installation of the new valve or solenoid is just the reverse. So first thing we're gonna do is 
insert this connector, push in the green tab to secure it. And then we're just gonna put in the electrical connector until it clicks. There we go. And then let's put in the 10 millimeter screw. Nice and snug. And then put this all the way in until it snaps. And then push in the red tab to secure it. Okay, let's just get the 10 millimeter real quick to snug it down. That's it, and you're all set. Go for a test drive.